hi guys and welcome to my channel my name is Kamsi Namani today's video is a highly requested one it's how I film my Instagram makeup videos using cool short TikTok inspired transitions I know that's a mouthful but basically this is what I mean that was a better description so if you'd like to learn and see how i achieved this video along with a couple of others on my instagram account please keep on watching <music> So guys, if I'm being completely honest, filming these kinds of videos is only the last step. There are a couple of steps before actual filming and I'm just going to go through these steps with you guys. So step one is finding the right music. So you can find or listen to different kinds of music at any point in time. Sometimes I do this when I'm in the car, to work, when I'm just lying down on my bed, when I'm watching TikTok videos or even Instagram videos. I can literally just listen to something and be like, oh, this would make a cool video. And I just note it down and I try to imagine myself doing something with it. And if I am impressed, I'll keep it at the back of my mind and note down the song. One of the characteristics of songs I use for these kinds of videos are songs that have a lot of beats because that's what makes your transition really do well when there's a beat to it. So the next step after finding the right music for me is finding inspiration. So now this comes in the type of makeup I want to go for, the vibe I want to go for, and also just finding cool transitions that people have already filmed and seeing if this can go for your video. So I do this by going on Instagram. I follow some accounts that do a lot of these kinds of videos and sometimes I just save their videos and I usually end up making it my own in my next step. So moving over to the third step, which is choreography. So this is when I now have a bunch of inspiration videos. I've watched a couple of choreography. I've tried to input my own flair, maybe some things I think might work well with this song and I mash it all up together and I try to do them in front of a mirror. This step also involves me breaking down my makeup process to match each transition or steps in my choreography I will go over this in full detail later in the video and yeah that brings me to the last step which is actually filming so yeah guys now we're done with the first part of creating transitional videos this is now the main event where we actually have to now put them to practice so i honestly don't know how i'm going to do this especially because the music i have picked will get me a copyright strike so i'm not going to be using the music but i think the most important thing is learning the techniques and how i merge it all together okay i'm sitting on a chair and one thing i have to point out that is key to making these out videos is you should not move i honestly don't even follow this but i try to try as much as possible not to move i sit on my bed and when I used to get up, I used to like wonder where did I sit up before. So now I have a chair. I've put the chair directly to the bed and I try not to move it. So at least if I move and I get up, I can sit back down on the chair. So do not move your tripod. Do not move your ring lights. Just keep it as is. Even if you need to charge your camera, keep your tripod where it should be. If you want to mark it down, you can mark it down. So yeah, now we're going to start off with the transition. So in getting on the choreography, I have to break down my makeup process because every beat has to bring in a new makeup process so the first phase for me to play the song so we will write it down you can write down your steps for me i can think about it in my brain so i don't have to write it down 
so I'm going to do like this and my brows will come on so that's the choreography actually do like this do the full thing with no brows and when you now have brows on do it again so that way when you're editing it's the same thing so you just you now know how to time it directly everything will have to be I don't know I can't obviously show you guys how I edit it but I'm just showing you guys the process so I do all the steps twice so I do it when I don't have any makeup on and I do it when I have that particular makeup on so I'm going to play the song So as you guys have seen, I've done it like three times. That's the key. I do it a lot of times just to one make sure I perfect it. And even when I do, I still do it a lot of times so that when I'm editing, I can pick the best. So I think I've gotten it because I've been doing it more. I'm a lot faster now. So the second phase for me to do my eyebrows and then I'll do it again. Filming in Nigeria. They are taking lights. Break time. Did I move my chair? I did. <laughs> so something I forgot to tell you guys is like when I did this, when I didn't have brows, and now I'm going to do this with brows, I can't stop there and I have to go to the next step so that it's like it glides seamlessly. Then I now stop at the next step. I hope you guys try to understand what I'm trying to say. So because I did this, means i now have to do a next step where i apply whatever i want so like i said always complete it this way you don't have any makeup and when you have makeup complete it again so that that way just easier instead of doing you stop halfway then when you have makeup you might not get to always complete it complete it i think i'm good So now I'm moving to the next step. Like I said, I break down my steps. So I'm going to add this moisturizer. I remember I did this. That's for this side. So sometimes I actually forget and I do both and I actually have to wipe it. So just know that I make mistakes as well. I just forget because I'm used to my routine. So we have done this side. So I'm going to go back and play the song again and do it. So that you know this has come up so the day before and after so when you do it before like now i didn't have um, brows so that was it before and when i now had brows i immediately go to the next step so like now i didn't have moisturizer and i did like this so i cut i didn't go to the next step so now that i have i now have moisturizer i'm now going to go to the next step so that's the way you can now make them flow more and less breaking in editing so So now I'm going to apply moisturizer here. So now, yeah, I've done the after. When I do like this, I'm going to go to the next step. I'm not going to stop. So here I stopped. I didn't go to any other thing. But here as I've done this, I'm going to go to the next one so that it flows. One more to make sure I got it. So bear in mind now that this is when I've moisturized it. So I already did it when I hadn't spread the moisturizer. So now I've spread it and I'm going to do this again. So let's play the music. I hope you guys are following, please. Like I said, now it's after. That means I'm going to go to the next phase. When you're doing your after, always link it to the next step so that it continues in the video. So I won't just, so now I've blended it, I'm going to do, go to the next step immediately. I think I know this. So the next step is foundation. So I did like this. So I'm going to do foundation here and not the foundation here. Okay guys, so now I've applied foundation on this side and I don't have on this side. So like I said now, this is an after. So when I'm doing this again, I have to do it here. When you're doing an after, always do the next step. That's just how I do it anyway.
so I'm done applying foundation on this side as well so this is now going to be an after when I do this I'm going to go to the next step which is this So I did this and this is also for the concealer. <gasps> this is what I mean by I make mistakes. I just did it here. <sighs> I'm supposed to do here, not here. So I have actually have to wipe it off. I'm actually glad I made this mistake so you know that. It's not always as perfect. So I'm going to reapply foundation under there. There was one time I actually forgot and I put foundation and I think pain me because I cleaned everything off. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna replay it and do it. And because this is the after, like I said, when I do this, I'm immediately going to do this. Even though there's nothing here, I'm still going to do this because this is the after. So now we're done, I can now do this side. So now it's the after. When I do this, I am going to go to the next step, which is this. So we're done. Next thing is to blend. So guys, I blended it out, so this is going to be the after. Um, as I've been saying, I'm now going to link it to the next step, which is going to be boom, 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 whatever I'm going to do. So something I want to add now is, I already had a choreography, but now that I'm filming, I've seen a better way to do it. So don't be too strict on it. And yeah, I'm going to change the choreography now. So I'm, I did this. So I'm going to put powder here. The beat is four times. And I'm going to do this, so this powder here, this powder here, this powder here this part that's four times it pom 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 yeah and i'm actually done because it's a hair video actually so i'm not going to be too detailed with the makeup you have to make it clear that this has powder this doesn't have powder so that's what makes the effect more enjoyable because people can see how you are changing So guys, as you guys have seen, I've done the, I just wanted to brush through, I think you guys know. So now this is actually the end. I leave out my eyeshadow because I want that wow effect. I always want to wow people in a way. So I leave this for the end of like the finale when I have my hair and everything done. So to the ending, I just don't know if I'll do hoop. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back to film the last scene. Yeah, this is a lot and oh, my watch is low, really. I do everything and I come back for the last scene. So let's just start. And yeah guys, that's it. As you can see, I changed up the wigs because that was what the video was about. It was actually a hair tutorial. Mind you, I did not use the original sound. If you want to see that, it will be on my Instagram. And yeah guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, if this was helpful, please let me know in the comment section and give this video a big thumbs up. So I'm just going to show you the final video now. Mm -hmm.